think just health wise, can you give us an update on like, how, how you feeling? How much you have to do? Yeah, um, I'm feeling great. Um, you know, started off, came here, you know, had some minor setbacks, got back to it, came out for the fall camp, feeling great. You know, taking coaches, taking you know, from players, coaches, and uh, anywhere I can really take, you know, any type of information. So, other than that, I've been feeling pretty good now. Your emphasis kind of coming into fall camp, knowing that unfortunately you weren't able to go through spring drills, a lot of catch up work here in fall camp, mm-hmm. kind of day by day process? Or? Um. Yeah, I would say day by day, you know, everything takes a process, you know, mistakes happen in order for you to learn. I think that's been a big part of me, especially being a young guy. But uh, I'm also trying my best not to be a young guy. You know, I feel like during the uh, during the spring is really the time, like a mental block for me. I could take everything mental in and not do everything as physical. And now that I'm here in the fall camp, you know, I got a lot of the mental stuff down and I'm able to do a lot of physical stuff. So I guess it's putting everything together. Everything's moving smoothly. So. Yeah. Head start. You obviously had to get right physically, but was there any worry or concern on your part that you weren't maybe taking full advantage of getting injured? Um, you know, it was a bit hard for me to realize that I had a couple of injuries at first, and I had to get some stuff done. So, you know, after, you know, choosing whether or not I wanted to do, you know, the timing with everything. As soon as I found out that, you know, my time frame was able was you know able for me to play football, you know, the same year, you know, I was kind of just all for it. I wanted to rehab as soon as possible. I wanted to do everything I could to set myself forward, and um, it's benefited me a lot. And now I'm here for the fall camp, you know, going through practices and everything, and uh, you know, just taking it day by day. So what, was your, what was your process like during the spring? I mean, you were out there. Are yeah. Trying to watch practice on those. Yeah, days? a lot of it was um, just me taking like mental notes, maybe writing some stuff on paper out there on the practice field, watching everything, make sure I'm getting mental reps and everything like that. Um, you know, just getting a visual of it, you know. Like I said before, I wasn't able to do some physical stuff or move around. So, you know, kind of just seeing everything helped me out a lot. How aware are you that you could at least play early uh, because of injury? Any mm-hmm. experience that you could use? Um, you know, coming in here, um, you know, there's a lot of great people around me. The running back room, you know, we all got, you know, a tight brotherhood around us. So um, taking coaching from them and everyone else has helped me, you know, come up. And, um, you know, I'm excited to play this year. Um, you know, it's something I've always dreamt of. Um, you know, I always want to um, be the guy everybody leans on. You know, I want to have that responsibility. And, uh, you know, I'm a very competitive guy. So, you know, I fight for that early on. So, I mean, it goes how it goes, you know. Is, is it more of a motivation or, or a pressure for you that, that you get on the field really, really early? Um, it's a motivation for me because I've always, I've always dreamt of playing college football and then future NFL football. So um, being put in this position and um, being able to like just be in the process of everything has been a huge game changer for me. And I think that uh, that's benefited me a lot. And you know, I'm just glad to be in this process. So, so far, yeah, um, I've learned a lot of different stuff. Just um, a part. Uh, just, I would say, just processing everything. You know, he's a he's a vet at this moment, and uh, me and him we sit next to each other in the uh, running back room. So, um, it's nice being next to him. You know, maybe I got some questions or whatever here and there. You know, he's able to help me out quickly. Um, he helps slow everything down for me because, um, you know, just like I said before, you know, it's a process with everything that you do. So he kind of helps me slow everything down, go from one, two, three, and you know that helps me stay the close to everything. What was the overall thoughts on the numbers in the mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm kind of rocking with it. I rocked 22 at the uh, Under Armour All-American game. So, and I, I was rocking with it then. So, now that I'm rocking 22 now, I think, I don't, I don't know, I might like it better than two. But, you know, two's still in the back of my mind. I like that number. But definitely not hating on 22 whatsoever. I like it. For anybody that's maybe not a huge player, not watching college, but running back, how positive compared to college? Like, College NFL, what what running back do you think you need to work on? Mm, I would say I'm not really sure, but I I know me as a running back, and people can see that through my film that I'm you know very elusive, agile, um you know very fast with the ball, um you know great in space. So 
I'm not sure if I can really compare myself to another NFL player or college or scheme or anything like that, but um, I could definitely speak on myself. So. And you, you hear every, every fall we talk to the press and quarterback and just get asked, asked about this stuff. Like, how big of a difference is that to you right now? Or how, or how developed were you from high school? Like that? Yeah. Um, so back in my high school, we were on a very old offense. We were on Aqua Nation. So a lot of the pass blocking stuff is very new to me still. Um, but, you know, the practices, you know, we've done a lot of stuff. And we've overemphasized, you know, pass blocking and, you know, being able to, um, you know, run the ball, being able to protect and everything like that. We have, we have a great emphasis on, you know, protecting. So I think just having that and working that every day has helped me understand it more. It's helped me be better with my technique. So um, I would say I'm in the right hands as, as far as, you know, learning my technique and everything with pass protection. Okay, Mark. What's the hardest part of that? Is it just you taking on bigger linebackers and taking on, or is it more mentally knowing where you need to be? To be it's, in the right it's more mentally knowing where I need to be because, you know, people say this all the time. They're like, your talent, you know, you put someone who has talent, you know, put them on the field, you know, they can do great things as long as you let them know what to do, right? So I would say it's more mental for sure because physically anyone, anyone could go out there and do it. But as far as knowing where you need to be, knowing, you know, where I need to be in this time, you know, just, just you know, getting everything down mentally, I think that's that's more important than just going out there and physically, you know, trying to put your body in front of somebody. So. What's the hardest part about like going from an, from an eye formation offense to an eye formation? Um, you know, it's, it's very different. You know, we got the slow two fast through. That was something I was never taught in high school. I was always, you know, fast too fast through all the way. So it's something very different. And um, having a fullback in front of me is definitely something that's, you know, changed since I've been here, unless we're running like some, you know, goal line type stuff or whatever, but that's everywhere. Um, it, it's been a great change for me, just, uh, you know, having to read my keys and everything like that. But uh, I think it's fun for sure. It's different and I like the challenge and I think I'm doing pretty good with it so far. Thanks, baby. Thanks, baby. Appreciate it.